Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and welcome to my channel. So this time around we'll be starting with methods of construction for various types of curves such as ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. Uh, these curves in totality are also known as what you call conic sections. Alright, so because these uh, sections or these curves are generated by sectioning cone in different ways. Alright, so we'll be starting off today's tutorial with a construction known as the oblong method. Although there are three different methods to prepare or construct an ellipse. So I'll be starting off with this guy that is oblong method. And the question is like this. Draw an ellipse with 125 mm and 75 mm as major and minor axis by oblong method. Fine. So we have this 125 mm as major axis and 75 mm as minor axis. So let us draw this major axis horizontally 125 mm. Now through this center we'll have this minor axis. Okay, the whole total length of minor axis is given as 75. That means it is going to be 37.5 above. And uh, from this point over here it is going to be 37.5 below. 37.5 below. Okay, so that's what you call the skeleton of our ellipse. Alright, so that's our ellipse and uh, let's now give it some names. A, um, I shall write it over as B. This over here is what you call D and this is C. So these are the four extreme points of ellipse. So this, these two extreme points A and B correspond to major axis. This two extreme, ex these two extreme points C and D correspond to minor axis. Now the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll enclose this in a rectangle. All right, some kind of a rectangle line. You can actually keep your minute drafter along this line AB. Make sure it is absolutely horizontal, then tighten the screw. Then you can move ahead. And then again draw a line over here. Over here. Right. Then <coughs> you can move vertically now. You can uh, you can keep your mini drafters along this vertical line, then tighten the screw, then shift your drafter to its uh, B point, then again draw a line again to this point and again draw a line. Fine. So that's what you call a rectangle. Okay, and in this rectangle, we'll be inscribing an ellipse. Now, how are we going to do that? That is something uh, which I'll tell you. Okay, now you see this, this point over here is what I call point O, the center of the ellipse. Now, this line over here, AO line, I'm going to divide this line into four equal parts, and I'm going to divide this line over here, this vertical line. Let me highlight this a bit into four equal parts. If you are doing five equal parts of this line, then make sure that you are doing five equal parts of this line also. Right? Now, remember, if I do n parts, then I'll get n minus one points. For example, if I do four parts of this line, OA line, and four parts of this line, I'll be getting three different points for constructing my ellipse. Right? And uh, let us do this construction quickly. Now, as you can see, I've placed uh, four points equally spaced one centimeter apart at any suitable inclination, right? Now, I'm going to put my mini drafters over here at the four point, fourth point, and then I'm going to join it with the end of this line, this line over here, OA line, okay? Make sure your drafter is aligned along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the third point, draw a line. Then to the two second point, draw a line, then to the first point, then again draw a line. You'll eventually have this line divided into four equal parts and it should look something like this. Alright, so the line has been divided into four equal parts. Now let's focus our attention towards this line over here. So we are going to divide this into four equal parts again. How can we do that? Uh, for that we need to do make four points at any suitable angle, equally spaced, one centimeter apart or even half centimeter apart. It's uh, absolutely up to you. Okay, my idea is to not waste enough space, right, for constructions. So let us put four points. Now guys, you can see I have put four points over here. Now we're going to join this fourth point with the end of this line. Make sure your drafters are along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to the third point. Same old stuff, all right? From the third point, you need to draw a line, second, and then one. I it should finally uh, become divided into four equal parts. That's it guys, that's exactly what I was talking about and uh, let us name these points is 3 dash. Alright, okay that's uh, that's all as far as uh, division of lines is concerned and the next thing is to join this point C 
with lines C join C with one, join C with two one dash, two dash, join C point with three dash also. The next thing that we'll be doing is joining lines from D to one. Please uh, please look at this carefully. Then from D to two and then from D till three. Okay. Now this line over here, one, has to be extended up to this line that is C1 dash for that it should look something like this so this is your point P1 all right of your ellipse <coughs> secondly this line which has started from D and it is passing to it should end somewhere around here right and finally it would should look something like this this is going to be point P2 similarly you have this line passing through 3 and this line connecting 3 dash and C dash uh, C 3 dash and C sorry mm, on extending it should reach somewhere here so this is point P1 P2 and P3 all right now <coughs> you can apply the same construction here also okay divide this line into four equal parts over here you need to make again make four equal parts and keep on joining lines these uh, these lines also same old stuff what I'll be doing is I'll be shifting these points below make sure your drafters are absolutely set all right like this and then finally we have from this okay now make sure you keep your rounder over here take this arc this is P1 this is P2 this is P3 okay guys the next step is to take arcs and we have to take this as center okay so this is going to be our arc and we're gonna shift this arc down below taking this as center all right that's it so this is going to be the mirrored image of a point p1 so you can write here p1 dash similarly we're going to take another arc with this as center and this all right so this is the arc that we had put up and we're going to shift this arc down below okay this height above is going to be the height below all right so let us do this that's it this is going to be our point P2 dash and finally we have this line over here with this as center this point as center look at the cursor and this as radius we again have ourselves an arc this arc I'm going to shift this arc down below that's it now you guys can see uh, these these three points which I've got right now are absolutely the mirrored images of these two points above above the line OE all right now the next thing to do is you can do the same thing horizontally also okay you can mirror these points horizontally also and it should finally look something like this I'll show you how it should look that's exactly what I was talking about all right um, for doing so you can actually keep keep on drawing all these so-called horizontal lines okay then you to need to place one leg of your rounder over here and this should be the distance then you can take this as center then put an arc then from here to here you know the stuff last thing is to draw an ellipse you need to join all these points and make an ellipse that's it okay and it should look something like this I'll show you how it will look that's it that's exactly how your ellipse is going to look like okay so this is what you call the oblong method of construction of an ellipse well thank you guys for watching the video and uh, if you have any comments any questions you can uh, write it down below in the comment section and if you like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
this is Manas Patnaik signing off and let us meet again with a new method of construction and it's going to be the concentric circles method. Do visit my channel again. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.